Buddy, I'll humor you, but you're not gonna like it. I know that fridge temperature IQ conservatives like yourself are convinced that the founders wrote the Second Amendment so the people would have the means to overthrow a tyrannical government. There's only two problems with that. One, they never said that anywhere. Two, it doesn't make sense if you think about it for five seconds. The Founding Fathers were the richest men on the continent. They owned land, they owned businesses, they owned farms, they even owned human beings. And they were operating under a mercantile or merchant capitalist system as a colony of Great Britain. After some time, these wealthy merchants became dissatisfied with their arrangement because they realized that as long as they were a colony of Britain, they would never achieve the full political or economic power they believed men of their status deserved. So they fought a war against Great Britain to consolidate the power for themselves. And I do mean for themselves. When this country was first founded, the only people who could vote were white men who owned land. Black people couldn't vote. Poor white people couldn't vote. The, the idea of women voting would have shattered their brains. So you're telling me that these wealthy slave-owning aristocrats who went through all that work to grant themselves power sat down and said, Hey, fellas, you know those uh, illiterate farmers and tradesmen who we don't want participating in politics and didn't even give the right to vote? How about we give them weapons for the specific purpose of kicking us out of office, you know, in case we fuck up? Like, you need to be fantastically gullible to believe that's true, man. but you are a conservative, so it checks out. To answer your question of why the Second Amendment is there, it's there because at the time there was no standing army in the United States. Each state had to rely on militias, and it's a lot quicker and cheaper to muster forces for a militia if all the individuals could own and operate their own firearms. These militias served many purposes, most of them nefarious, like fighting Native Americans or putting down slave revolts or bounty hunting or law enforcement, like any number of things. But I'll tell you what they didn't do. They didn't try to overthrow a tyrannical government. That is my explanation. Does that seem more or less plausible than yours of, oh, the founders just wanted everyone to have freedom? Like, Look up the Whiskey Revolt or Shays Rebellion and find out what George Washington thought about the unwashed masses uh, expressing their concerns through violence about him being tyrannical. Put that shit down immediately. You're living in a fantasy world. Just, just cut it out. Stop embarrassing yourself.